Hello everyone. Hi Dr. Kumar, working as associate professor in the department of ECE, SJBIT. Would like to explain the following contents in this video. The contents that will be explained are the PN junction diode, the biasing of a diode, the capacitance parameters, We will be learning about the PN junction diode, the biasing of the diode, the capacitance of the parameters, the diode approximations, the DC load line analysis and the application of the PN, uh, PN diode. <coughs> In the earlier video of the subject, I already explained the basics of a semiconductor material and how do we get this, the P type of extensive semiconductor material and the N type of N strict semiconductor material and how a PN junction is diode is formed. Just as a revision, let me just uh, take you for one or two minutes about this brief out. So, what is a semiconductor? A semiconductor material is the one which has the conductivity higher than con uh, insulator but lesser than conductor. So, the conductivity level of a semiconductor material is between the that of the conductor and the insulator. The type of semiconductor materials that we normally choose is silica, germanium, or gallium arsenide, which are the electrical properties in between those of conductors and insulator. The semiconductors are not too good conductors of elect uh, electricity, or as they are not too good insulators. Hence the name, it has been named as semiconductor. So, coming with a PN junction diode. A PN junction diode is a semiconductor material where the combination of a P material and the N material will form a junction. And when they are fused together, it results in a PN junction diode. A PN junction diode is finally formed when a N type of material is fused with a P type of material which creates a semiconductor diode. The two terminals of a PN diode are the anode and the cathode terminal. So diode is always a two terminal device. The biasing of a diode. The uh, diode can be forward biased or reverse biased. Whenever an voltage is applied, where the positive terminal is connected to P type and the negative terminal is connected to N type, the diode is said to be forward biased, where the effect in decreasing the PN junction diode, the width of the PN junction diode. And whenever the anode terminal is connected, negative terminal, and the cathode is connected to the positive terminal, that is the P type of material, the diode is said to be connected under reverse pass condition, and where the effect of the increase in the width of the PN junction diode will take place. So here you can see the symbolic representation of the forward bias and reverse bias. So here we can understand whenever a PN junction diode is forward biased, then it results in a depression layer becoming very thin. And under reverse bias characteristic, the depression region widens. We find a wide depletion region. So coming for the VA capsule of a diode. Whenever we are learning or studying about the VA capsule of a diode, we can analyze the diode under two conditions. One is the forward condition rear characteristic and the reverse characteristics of a diode. The semiconductor diode is essentially a PN junction diode and it can be seen that the forward current will remain 
very low which is less than 100 micro amps until the diode followed by as voltage that is Vg exceeds the nominal threshold voltage which is 0.7 volts. So once the applied voltage crosses the threshold voltage of 0.7 volts then the there's a rise in the current linearly because the diode current is the diode reverse current IR is very much similar than that the forward current. The reverse cats are plotted with the expanded curve scales. So for a similar silicon diode, the reverse current IR is normally less than 100 nano amperes and it are almost completely independent of the reverse bias voltage. So for a diode, always the current reverse current is usually less than that of the forward current level. So whenever the diode as a uh, yes, river, as a reverse voltage, which is sufficiently increased, the diode goes into reverse breakdown region, and the cast of the germanium are similar to that of the silicon diode. So here we have the PA cassette plotted for the forward region and the reverse region where we can see that there is a rise once the threshold voltage of 0.7 volts is crossed under the forward bias region and here under the reverse bias condition there is a drop in the current. So this is one more plot where we can see that the graph shows the threshold voltage for germanium diode and for as well for the silicon diode and there are important voltages on the VA cats of a VA cats curve of a PN junction diode that is the knee voltage the forward voltage the forward current and in the reverse bias condition it is the reverse voltage the reverse saturation current and whenever the diode is conducting under reverse bias condition the voltage where there is a breakdown in the current is what we call it as breakdown voltage. So this graph shows the PN junction diode VA characteristics. Next coming for the different types of diode which is available. There are various types of diode which can operate under different frequency and different voltages in accordance to the applied voltage. The different diodes are the P, uh, nominal PN diode, PN junction diode, the zener diode which works under zener breakdown voltage we have the tunnel diode the short key diode the varact diodes even the diac triac and silicon control rectifier the light emitting diodes and the photodiodes these are the various types of diodes which vary from uh, which vary in accordance to the input voltage that is applied so this brief introduction about the type of diodes and the VHS of a diode, let's move on to for the next topic that is how does a diode look or as what is the size and appearance of a diode depending upon the current. So the diodes are classified into three types depending upon the size and appearance of the diode in accordance to forward current. There is low current diode, the medium current diode and the high current diode. So what are those? What is a low current diode? A low current diode is a diode which is capable of passing maximum forward current up to 100 milliamps and 75 volts reverse bias without any breakdown. The second type of diode is a medium current diode which can allow a forward current of 400 milliamperes and a reverse bias of 200 volts. Whereas the third type is a high current diode or a proper diode which can pass forward currents of many amperes and they can even survive for several hundred volts of reverse bias. And this voltages are this uh, diodes are used as per the application whichever is required. Next comes the importance diode parameters. 
There are five important diode parameters that is the forward voltage drop, the reverse transmission current, the reverse breakdown voltage, the dynamic resistance and the maximum forward current. So, what is, these are the important parameters on which a diode can be analyzed. So, depending upon the parameters or depending upon the different approximation, uh, different uh, mode of uh, conventions, we classify the, we go for the diode approximation. So, what is diode approximation? It is a method which is used to describe the behavior of a diode circuit which is useful in the analysis of the device. There are three different diode approximation methods. They are ideal diode, practical diode and piecewise linear characteristics. These are the three different ways how the diode approximations can be done. So, starting with the first one, which is called as the first approximation or the ideal diode approximation. So, under the ideal diode, a diode is essentially a one-way device which offers a low resistance when forward bias and high resistance when the bias is, when the diode is reverse biased. So, an ideal diode will have zero forward resistance and zero forward voltage drop whenever it is treated to be ideal. It would also have an uh, infinite high reverse resistance which would result in zero reverse current. So, the diagram here shows the forward, uh, the catches of an ideal diode where whenever a voltage is applied to the diode, it results in the resulting current. So, in the first approximation method, always we ignore, ignore the leakage current where the barrier potential and the bulk resistance is considered. And whenever uh, a diode is treated to be an ideal and it is under forward bias condition, the, the diode works as a closed switch, whereas when the diode is reverse bias condition, the third model or the circuit works as a the open switch. The second type of, the second approximation is applicable to a practical diode. A practical diode is assumed that there is no diode current which flows unless until the forward bias crosses the diode which reaches a voltage of 0.7 ohms. This model will always ignore the exact shape of the E voltage where the model ignores the bulk resistance. So, in this we can see the approximation case for a germanium diode and for a silicon diode. We can observe that whenever the applied E voltage crosses the uh, crosses 0.3 volts, there is a rise in the current. In the same way, whenever we consider it to be a silicon diode, the applied voltage whenever it is crossing points and volts, there will be a rise in the current. The third approximation is the piecewise linear approximation. Here, whenever the forward cassette for diode is not available and there is a straight line, the diode approximations are called to be piecewise linear characteristics which can be applied. So, to construct a piecewise linear characteristics, what we do is we first mark the forward voltage on the horizontal x axis and then start at the forward voltage, a straight line is drawn with a slope equal to the diode with dynamic resistance. So, a piecewise linear characteristics allows us to approximate the diode with relevance to each and every voltage which is applied for the diode. 
X coming for the DC load line analysis effect IO. Whenever we consider the piecewise linear characteristics and when the precise levels of the diode, current and voltages must be calculated, we make use of a model which is a graphical model or a graphical analysis termed as DC load line analysis. The DC load line analysis helps us to get the exact figures of the diode current and voltages in accordance with the applied voltage. So, whenever we want the precise levels of the diode current and the voltage, we can calculate it by the method of graphical analysis called as the DC load line analysis. Here we have taken an example of a circuit where a diode is connected and the applied voltage is 5 volts with a resistor value of 100 ohms. So, whenever a voltage of 5 volts is applied to the circuit, there is a forward current which is flowing the circuit under the diode is forward bias condition and here there is a current which is there is a voltage drop which I cut circuit is resistive and taking this into consideration we plot the DC load line where we can get the exact values of the uh, output current in accordance with the input voltage applied. This gives a diode cassette through DC load line. So, what exactly is a DC load line? A DC load line is a straight line that will illustrate all DC conditions which could exist within the circuit. How do we construct a DC load line is next point. The DC load line can be constructed by plotting any two corresponding current and voltage points and then drawing a straight line through them. To determine the two points on the, the, the load line, an equation relating to the voltage, current and the resistance has to be derived first. So, we have the equation circuit, I will just have the same circuit. So, when we apply the law, we get the total of voltage electric field is equal to IF into R1 plus the total forward voltage VF. Next. The relationship between diode forward voltage and the current in the circuit is defined by the device characteristics and there is a point which is called as the quescent point which is the only one point on the DC load line where the diode voltage and the current are compatible with the circuit conditions and this load line intersection will characterize the quescent point which is important parameter for the analysis of a diode. So, coming for the application of a diode, a basic PN junction diode can be used in several applications like rectifiers, clippers, clampers, reverse current protection circuits, it can be used in logic gates and it can also be used in voltage multipliers. So, what is a rectifier? How do we find the help of a diode or how do we find the use of a diode in rectifier? A rectifier circuit which converts the input AC signal into DC signal. So, whenever we connect a diode to be operative as a rectifier, then the diode will be uh, connected in forward bias and reverse bias condition, which allows the flow of current only in the positive off cycle, which results in the DC output voltage. In same way, the second application is the clipper circuit. In a clipper circuit, we can clip the required voltage in the circuit. That is where we find the application for diode. The diode, uh, the uh, input voltage applied to a diode will have the level of clipping that is required. The clamper circuits are the one, the clamping circuits is the one where the voltage uh, levels can be shifted to the higher voltage, the positive voltage or the negative voltage. So, the shifting of the voltages is uh, obtained by means of the clamping circuits. The reverse current protection circuits are the one where this circuits can be connected using the diode to be connected in reverse bias condition. 
whenever there is a i reverse current which is flowing the circuit the protected circuits is protected due to the result of reverse current in logical gates it is used in the fabrication of logical gates where the diodes is utilized and we can also make use of the diodes in voltage multipliers where several diodes are connected one after the other so that the voltage gets multiplied the input voltage applied gets multiplied so in this video you have learnt about the pn junction diode the approximation for pn junction diode the dc load line analysis the question point and applications of a pn junction diode thank you